Hey guys, Glutenemid here. Welcome to another add-on guide video. In last week's episode we focused on modifying the answer keys when rating your cards in the reviewer. In this episode we will be taking a look at the other side of the medal and that is the actual answer buttons themselves. There are multiple ways in which you can modify them, both in their appearance but also in their functionality and add-on authors have come up with some great ways in which you can enhance your workflow while going through your reviews. Specifically in this episode I want to present you with four different ways in which add-on authors have modified these buttons. The button colors add-on, the more buttons for new cards add-on, the later not now button add-on and the more buttons for all cards add-on which integrates a lot of the functionality found in the add-ons before it. Having demonstrated all of these add-ons I then want to quickly dive further into the configuration of two of them, specifically the button colors add-on and the more answer buttons for new cards or all cards add-on. Now before I dive into each of these add-ons I want to just give you a quick PSA as far as these add-ons are concerned. Because the answer button area in Anki isn't very flexible, the, these add-ons often conflict with each other, which means that if you install one of them then the other ones will prob probably not work um, properly. So you will have to figure out which of these functionalities you actually need and then decide which you want to install. I would just recommend you give each of them a try, see if the if they work for you, if they help you, and then just decide which ones you want to keep. Okay, so let's start off with the button colors add-on, and this one is very straightforward. It's already installed on here, so I can quickly demonstrate it. If you're familiar with Anki Droid or Anki Mobile, you'll know that the answering options in these apps are colored depending on the rating they represent, which I think is always a nice visual aid to quickly be, to be able to quickly identify which option to choose. And uh, normally that's not the case for Anki, on the desktop at least, but this add-on adds that functionality back in and it simply just colors the again option, the good option with two different colors, red and green. It does not color the hard and easy option. If you want to find out how to do that, make sure to check out the configuration section at the end of the video. But yeah, that's about it. It just colors the uh, buttons in different colors and uh, one thing I also want to highlight is that it also works, works very well in concert with the um, answer feedback add-on that you might have um, might know from the gamification episode in this video series. So if you choose any of these answers, you'll see that the tooltip will also be colored uh, using these colors provided by the add-on, which is uh, also a great feature to have. Okay, so let's move on to the next add-on, which is the more answer buttons for new cards add-on. This is also already installed in this version of Anki. So by default Anki only provides you with three different options for new cards, the again option, the good option and the easy option. But with this add-on installed you are actually provided with three additional options which you can customize in the rating or in rather the interval that they apply to your cards. So as you can see in this case we have um, a button that adds or that reschedules the um, card to be seen again in about four days, in about seven days and in about two weeks. Each of these intervals can be configured. I will go into this at the end of the episode. But uh, as you can see, by using this add-on, you have a lot more flexibility when writing your cards. And I would like to use this specifically when I create uh, notes of my own. I of oftentimes, when I just um, work on a lecture and just create some new notes, I'm already so familiar with the material that I don't really have to go through all of the learning steps and go through reviewing the cards uh, tomorrow and the day after, etc. And in those cases, when I feel confident that I already know the material enough, I just use these extra buttons to reschedule it to be seen in a week, for instance. And as you can see, this add-on also comes with some tooltips as the answer confirmation add-on, so it will also work well together with that add-on. One thing I want to highlight with this is that it only presents these buttons for new cards. It does not work for cards that are in review. Um, so the reason for this, this is actually one of the add-ons I, um, I didn't write myself, but ra rather I uh, adapted from an earlier work by another author, but still it's one of my own uploads. The reason why I did not enable this functionality for other cards as well is because the easy function as is is already quite dangerous. Um, you have to re realize that the intervals when going through your reviews in Anki already scale exponentially. So whenever you use the good option, that would already increase the existing interval of the um, card exponentially. By choosing the easy option, it's even more exponential. It's even faster growing. So you really have to be very confident in your ability to recall an item to rate it as easy. Now, 
if you have this and then also add some additional buttons that even provide a larger interval than, e than what Easy provides, then that can be very dangerous. And I think it's not the right approach to Anki. But of course, I know that um, a lot of people have different workflows. So that's why as one of the next add-ons, I will also present you with another add-on, the More Answer Buttons for All Cards add-on, where you can actually also rate your cards with these additional buttons, even if they are reviews. But first, I wanted to quickly also cover one other smaller add-on, which is the Later Not Now button add-on. Um, this is once again an add-on by Dimitri Mikhev. You might have known him from some of the previous episodes. He's created a lot of different add-ons for Anki, a lot of fantastic add-ons. And this one is also a pretty ingenious thing. So one of the issues you might uh, encounter in Anki is that you're going through your reviews and you stumble on a card that you know you can answer, but which you simply don't really have the answer for at this very moment. It might be on, on the tip of your tongue and you don't really want to rate it as again or fail it for that simple reason. It might just make sense to look at it again in maybe two minutes or three minutes. And by default, Anki doesn't really provide you with many options to do that. You can bury it, but that's something that's more... Um, persistent or rather yeah you can't really it's not really the same thing as just putting the card at the back of the stack if you bury it you then have to remember after having done your reviews to unbury it again with this add-on you have a new option and that is this later not now button which you can also invoke by using the escape hotkey so what does this do well if you're looking at a card like this which is at the top of the card queue by using this button this will simply be removed from the queue so as you can see, it now says you only have 99 reviews left. You don't actually only have 99 left, but this one is just um, put to the side for the time being. And you can do the same thing for the next card. So let's just do it for three cards. And as you can see, they do not appear in the queue. However, as soon as I move back to the deck overview screen and then enter back into the reviews, you'll see that the cards are presented to me again. So basically, this just allows you, if you... If you think of your Anki cards as a physical stack of flashcards. It just allows you to put a flashcard at the end of the stack and then just uh, deal with it as soon as you're done with the rest of the cards, which I think is a fantastic way to just put off cards that you just have on the tip of your tongue uh, so that you do not have to rate them again or to fail them. All right, that's as far as this add-on is concerned. Now we will cover the more uh, answer buttons for all cards add-on, which is more than the um, than its title says. It doesn't just include the ability to have um, answer buttons for all different types of um, queues, of card queues, but it also comes with a lot of additional functionality. But, but as I've stated at the start of the video, a lot of these add-ons are incompatible with each other. So in order to demonstrate this, I will first have to uninstall the other add-ons I demonstrated in this episode so far. So let's uninstall the Later Not Now add-on, the Button Colors add-on, and let's also uninstall the more answer buttons for new cards add-on, of course. And another thing you also, as far as I remember, let me just check. I think you also have to, no, you do not have to uninstall the confirmation add-on. Okay. So let's go ahead and install this, copy the add-on code, paste it into Anki, then restart Anki, and we should see the add-on work. So as we saw before, the add-on provides you with additional buttons, but it's not just the only thing, only feature it has. As you can see, it also colors the uh, buttons in different colors. So it has the button colors add-on integrated. It also has the later not now button add-on integrated, as you can see. So that one is part of the add-on as well. And then of course, the more answer buttons. And as you can see, they are not only active for new cards, as in this case, but they will also be active for cards that are in review or are in learning, as in this case. So that's as far as this add-on is concerned. It's pretty much an extension of the More Answer Buttons add-on, but it provides you with a lot of additional features, including the functionality found in the Button Colors add-on, the Later on Now button add-on, and also a few other features which you can find out if you read through the description. So it's a great add-on that combines a lot of different other fantastic works in just one simple uh, module. And one thing this add-on also does, which the button colors add-on doesn't do by itself, is that it also cover colors the again and the easy option, which as we saw at the start of the start of the video, um, are uncolored by default in the other add-on. Okay, so that's as far as this add-on is concerned. 
Now I want to just quickly demonstrate how you can configure some of these add-ons. Since we've already installed the More Answer buttons for All Cards add-on, I just want to start with this one, even though it's um, the other way around here in the overview. So let's just quickly explore, explore how you can customize the intervals provided here. For this, once again, you will simply have to find the add-on in the Add-ons Entry menu right here, and then click on Edit. So in here then you will just have to navigate to the configuration section which is right here where, where it says extra buttons. So this just in terms of code is a list, so that's a square bracket which opens a list of different dictionaries. Dictionaries in Python and the programming language used by Anki are signified by a curly bracket. Each of these dictionaries here provides or rather describes a button that is added by the add-on. And as you can see in each dictionary, we have different keys, like this one, that are set to different values, like this one. So let's try to customize the last button that is presented to us to a, an even larger interval. And let's see, that should be this entry right here, the fourth entry. And as you can see, by default, it is set to reschedule the cards to two to three months. Okay, so let's start by updating the description. We want this to be rescheduling our cards to six months. Then let's change the label that is presented above the buttons, which we will set to six months as well. The shortcut, let's leave this at nine, which I think is makes sense, just in con continuation of the other answering keys. And then here we have the actual meet, the actual uh, setting that cover governs how our cards are rescheduled. As you can see, we don't just have one interval, but actually two, the minimum rescheduling interval and the maximum rescheduling interval. So this add-on, like the other More Answer Buttons add-on as well, um, just tries to randomize the rescheduling a bit, so that when you reschedule multiple cards at once, they don't just all fall on the same day, but are rather randomly spread um, over a small interval. So in this case, if we are working with six months, let's set the minimum interval to be, uh, let's say five months. So let's set this to be uh, 100, uh, yeah, let's set this to be 150 days. And as the maximum interval, let's, le let's then go ahead and set this to 180 days so that we have a small variation here between five and six months, which should, should allow us to just spread the cards over that uh, month if we are um, rescheduling multiple cards in one session. Okay, so that's as far as customizing the buttons is concerned. One thing you might wonder is if you can add additional buttons, and that's one problem with this add-on, but also with the other add-on, also with the other More Answer Buttons add-on. It's simply a limitation in Anki. There is only a specific number of maximum buttons that you can actually add to those answer buttons. And by default, the number is limited to four. So four options is all you will get with this add-on, also with the other one. Um, but I think that's already ample. It already provides ample opportunity for, to you for you uh, to just uh, be more flexible in your reviews. Okay, so that's as far as customizing the buttons is concerned. There are also some other options in this add-on which you can find out about by reading the description. But for now, let's uh, let's just uh, save this code and just restart Anki to see our changes applied. And let's go into the review. And as you can see, now we are presented with our new button right here, which will reschedule the card to be to presented to be presented to us in six months. All right. So that's as far as customizing the intervals in the More Answer Buttons add-ons is concerned. Um, the same thing applies for the More Answer Buttons for New Cards add-on. It's the same. You will see that the code is similar in how these different buttons are defined. Okay, so let's quickly also demonstrate how you can add new colors to the button colors add-on. For this, I will have to uninstall the More Answer Buttons add-on because as we saw before, it's incompatible with the button colors add-on. And let's just reinstall the button colors add-on then and proceed to demonstrate how you can actually customize this. So this will actually also be a good coding exercise if you're uh, thinking about starting to develop your own add-ons. This Modification provides or uh, requires a bit more uh, knowledge of how to deal with code. So I think this will be a good exercise to demonstrate how you can modify an add-on like this, which does not provide you with an easy to use configuration section at the top. 
So as you can see, the add-on is pretty simple. It's very few. It's very few lines. Just to give you an understanding of how it works, here we have a function definition. The function is called answer button list, and what it does is it generates an a list of buttons and returns them to the user interface so that the user interface can then render them in. And as you can see inside this function you simply have a series of conditional statements that govern how many buttons and how they should be rendered. So as you can see the add-on or the code here tries to find out how many buttons should be presented and for two buttons you'll see that the add-on will present you with the easy option which is here the L right here which is defined up here as a variable and the good option. For three buttons you will be presented with the again option, the good option, easy option and for four buttons or rather for else for anything else you will be presented once again for, with the again option, hard option, the good option and then the easy option. So what modifications did the add-on author perform? Well first of all you see for the again option here that the label is wrapped with a HTML tag, an HTML font tag. These tags at the front and at the back will make sure that the label, the actual label here, which says again, will be colored in red. And the same thing he also did for the good options in all of their instances. So here we have good colored in green and the same sequence you will also find for the other numbers of buttons. Okay, so let's start by um, finding a way to color the easy option. For this we will simply have to just um, look at how the add-on author did this for the good option and simply copy that over to the easy option. As you can see we simply have to append one segment to the front of the label and also do the same thing with the back of the label with this closing HTML font tag. Make sure when copying these over to preserve the formatting, make sure that these stay outside of the brackets here and that you also include the plus signs so that they are appended current correctly. Okay, so be of course we do not want our easy button to also be colored green, so let's change this color as well. Let's change the assignment here to blue. Having done that, we will then just simply repeat the same step for the other instance of the easy label, which is down here. Once again, we just copy the prepending segment here and we also copy the appending segment here. Once again, insert at the right position, make sure to preserve the brackets. And as you see, it's the same principle again. So there we go, that's the easy button. Let's do the same for the hard button, which is only which only occurs here. Once again, copy the first part over put it in front of the existing label, then copy the second part over, put it at the back of the existing label, and then let's change the color and let's set it to gray because that's also what AnkiDroid uses for instance. Okay, that's it. So having done that, we should be all set up. So let's proceed to save the add-on. Let's hope that we did not, did not perform any mistake. And of course we did. So, that's a good learning experience. With code like this, only one wrong character and only one small mistake can cause it to fail. So let's quickly go in again and see what mistake we did. It seems like we have an extra bracket here, right? Let's remove this. Okay, let's see if this works. If this doesn't work, then we'll just give up for now. Okay, that was it, awesome. So yeah, as you can see, just one issue, one small character, and you see that um, add-on that Anki will throw an error, but normally it should be informational. The add-on error should provide you with more information on what, what you did wrong. Okay, so let's check our changes and see quickly how they, uh, how they appear. And let's go, let's find a card that is actually a review so we can see all of the buttons at once. There we go. So as you can see, the easy option is colored blue, the um, gray option or the hard option is colored gray. So all of the changes we wanted to perform have been applied and that's exactly what we wanted. Okay, so that's as far as con um, configuring this add-on is concerned. As you can see, it's difficult. You have to be careful. You have to make sure you do not um, include any type of formatting error. But having performed the change then should allow you to just modify these buttons in whatever fashion you want. 
Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of different options to modify the answer buttons. Um, these are, I think these can have a that these can have a great impact on your reviewing experience. As I've said in the previous video, reviewing is what you will probably be doing the most in Anki, so customizing that and adapting it to your own workflow can be very important. So give these add-ons a try, see which ones work for you. Keep in mind that these are incompatible with each other, or that at least that, that some of them are in, incompatible with each other. So make sure to try each of them out uh, individually, see which ones work together, and then find the configuration that suits your needs the best and just use it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for tuning back in. Make sure to stay tuned to the channel. There will be a lot of new videos coming out over the next weeks. Until the next time, good luck with your studies and see you soon.